Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this little device, which is called the Sony Shooting Grip with Wireless Remote Commander, which is an awesome name. But what the hell is it? It's essentially a little mini tripod slash grip for Sony cameras. And I imagine you could put any camera on here, but it won't pair via Bluetooth. So this does pair over Bluetooth with Sony cameras and allows you to trigger the shutter, um, the record button, and there's a zoom rocker on here. And then there's also a custom one button. So whatever you have set on your Sony camera to custom one will be duplicated on here. Did I mention it's 138 bucks? <laughs> Which seems, uh, seems pretty pricey for what it is and whether or not it's worth it to you. I can't tell you that, but I figured we could just take a look at it and you could decide for yourself. So in addition to the electronic functions on here that I mentioned, there is a little button here that allows you to pan the camera around and it locks into place, um, as you can see in those four positions. And then this button here changes the tilt angle. So you can go all the way uh, perpendicular, straight up and down, um, 45 degree angles, uh, like that. And then this dial on the other side, if you turn it, will change the friction of that tilting. So it'll be looser or stiffer, depending on how you want it. I'd recommend keeping a hold of your camera when you change the tilt so it doesn't just flop. So it's made out of plastic with a kind of a textured surface to it. It seems pretty durable and I feel like it's pretty comfortable. Comparing it to something like this little Manfrotto tripod, which you can use as a, as a grip as well, this is more comfortable. This is contoured to your hand, whereas this is just tripod legs folded up. I feel like they did a good job with the ergonomics of it, so you can hold it uh, comfortably and still hit all the buttons with your thumb without changing your grip so you can you know keep the camera steady it's water resistant or splash resistant i think it says but it's not waterproof so i wouldn't recommend using it in the rain or otherwise getting it uh wet because it might short out is it worth it i'm not sure i can't really answer that question for you i think it's pretty expensive i do a lot of real estate shoots and often find myself having to use a really slow shutter speed on some shots so being able to remotely trigger the camera is cool is helpful because sometimes if you hit the button on the camera you might accidentally shift the camera which will make your shot blurry um also you know in like really cramped spots where it might be hard to position yourself or sometimes there's a mirror where it's hard to get out of the shot being able to remotely trigger the camera is helpful now, there's a lot of different devices and ways you can remotely trigger your shutter so and probably cheaper than this like you can do it over the app for instance so yeah, whether it's worth it or not, I don't know, but it's kind of a cool little device. So different options, I've already mentioned this Manfrotto and this is only like 20 bucks. And I think there's a newer version of this that maybe is a little bit longer too. Another option is the Joby Gorillapod. I'm sure you're familiar with these, been around, they've been around for a bit. Uh, there's various sizes of these. I think the biggest one is around 90 bucks. So these can be a little pricey as well, but they're super flexible, obviously. You can do a lot of stuff with these, you know, hang your camera from something or, um, you know, position it just about any way. The one downside of them is that they loosen up over time and will sag a little bit. So if you have a heavier camera, it can be a little bit hard to get it set up where it's not going to start drooping. Oh, how's it going? So we're going to do a quick vlogging test of the Sony Shooting Grip with Wireless Remote Commander. We're going to refer to it as the commander from here on out. Uh, I'm not much of a vlogger, so this is going to be pretty bad, but I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the features and just kind of show you how it might look for you if you're into vlogging. So we are on the a7 III and I'm using Canon 16 to 35 with a Metabones adapter. So with that, you can actually trigger uh, recording. And what's also really cool about that is it has a tally light so you can see on the front uh, that you are recording. So with cameras that don't have a flip screen, it's particularly helpful just so you know for sure that you're good to go in recording. And then it has a custom one button. So whatever you have mapped on your camera to the custom one function, 
you can duplicate that on the, the commander. Unfortunately, um, there's really no way, so if you have, for instance, like my custom one is mapped to white balance, so when I hit that, the custom one, I can't actually change the white balance. There's no dial or control to scroll through the white balance. So if you want to take advantage of the custom one button on the commander, you should probably map it to something that can be enabled or disabled with one um, button press. And then there is a zoom rocker. So if you do have a compatible zoom lens, you could zoom in and out, which is cool, but I don't have one. I tried using it with this uh, Canon and Metabones adapter, but it didn't work. And then, so the last thing on here is a lock switch. So you can flip that switch and that way you won't accidentally press one of the buttons and mess up your recording or whatever it is you're doing. Just don't forget to flip it back to unlock when you're trying to pair the device. I just had that happen. I'm like, why is it not pairing? And it has a weight capacity of one and a half kilograms, which I don't know what that means. So uh, converting it to pounds is about 3.37 pounds, I believe it was. So um, I have a pretty heavy lens setup going on here. And I feel like it's definitely pushing the limits. I would recommend getting something a little bit smaller. I think you could go with a G Master 16 to 35, but like the 16 to 35 I've, I have on here, plus the Metabones adapter, makes it not only heavy, but really long. So it's kind of front heavy. <laughs> and I think that's about it. So hopefully that was helpful. And we'll, we'll resume the video elsewhere. So I think that just about wraps it up for this video. Just want to take a quick look at the Sony shooting grip commander thing in Majik. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments. And otherwise, I'll see you in another video.